Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. In this video, I wanna show you an exciting product that really opens up a lot of possibilities for fabricating screw retained restorations. And as you may recall in my previous videos, there are some limitations on when and how we can fabricate screw retained restorations. And the easiest cases are single units with ideal implant positioning so that our access hole is perfectly placed. Those can be restored with any restoration type, virtually without limitation. The other end of that spectrum is splinted restorations with implants that are angled towards the buckle or facial. Those cases have always forced us to either do cement retained or to severely compromise aesthetics. And the reason for this is that there aren't a lot of options for non-engaging abutments, which are required for splinted screw retained restorations. And on top of that, even when non-engaging abutments are offered, it's extremely rare for them to also have an option to angle the access hole. And most of the options that are available are just stock bases, so we have no control over the emergence profile or height of the abutment. There is, however, a company that does offer non-engaging custom abutments for all of the major implant systems. And better yet, we can design them with angled screw channels. The company is True Abutment, and their non-engaging angled screw channel custom abutments are a lifesaver for these cases that used to be very limited in restorative options. And we really like these custom abutments better than using a stock base because we have much better control over the subgingival contours of the abutment, we can build the abutment up to be more substantial than a titanium base, and we can typically make the abutments much taller than what we would get with a titanium base. Now, these still won't work in every situation. For instance, if the implants have a really high degree of divergence, the splinted abutments might not seat passively into the implants. In those situations, we still need to make custom abutments that are designed to be parallel to each other and seated to the implant separately for use with a cement retained bridge. It's important to note that these do require a specific screwdriver when we're angling the access hole. But another thing that's really cool about True Abutment is that they include a single-use driver tip with every angled screw channel abutment that they send. And these are latch-style tips, so you will need a driver that's compatible with those. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.